What's going on everybody? This is Broken Games HDR. And in this video, I'm going to talk to you about my thoughts on Far Cry 6 because I actually had the opportunity to have some hands-on time with the game and actually play it. So I'm going to give you a little bit of background and I promise you I won't take too long on that and then I'll get straight to my thoughts on Far Cry 6 based on the demo I played. So about a month ago, I received an email that I was being invited to the Far Cry 6 hands-on preview event where I would get a chance to play a demo of the game. Now, this was extremely shocking to me because one, I'm far from like the biggest or most known content creator around here, uh, even though I understand that's not necessarily how they always select who they want to participate uh, in these uh, hands-on previews. But most importantly, number two, if you follow my channel, I haven't had anything good to say about Ubisoft or their games in the last seven or eight years, right? Maybe that's why they selected me. I, I have no idea at this point, right? Um, I have not liked their games for essentially an entire generation. And I've been very vocal about that on Twitter, on you, on YouTube. Like I said, I don't know exactly how they know of me or if they follow me or if they know anything I've said about their games. I have no idea. And you got to understand Ubisoft one, was once upon a time one of my favorite publishers and developers. And it's kind of hard to fathom that that currently because what I love them for is such a far cry from what they are now. See what I did there? Um, I just feel all their games don't really evolve well over time. They lack innovation. A lot of their games just feel the same, um, like they're all like they all exist in the same universe and you know arguably some of them do and above all a lot of their games just aren't fun now i don't know if ubisoft will watch this video but if they do i doubt they will be inviting me back for any opportunities to try out another game depending on how much they value honesty i guess now Usually my approach when it comes to talking about games is I like to be very specific, describing gameplay mechanics and explaining the minor details on how the game works. But in this video, I feel like I just need to tell you my overall thoughts and not get into the weeds because I feel like it's kind of pointless and redundant if you played pre uh, previous Far Cry games. So here are my honest opinions on Far Cry 6 based on the demo. So prior to playing the demo, I was pretty sure I wasn't going to buy Far Cry 6 based on the gameplay trailers that we've seen. And after playing the demo, I know I'm not buying it. So we had the opportunity to play Far Cry 6 for five hours, which included, included the opportunity to play some single player missions and also try out the co-op. So now, mind you, we are playing this game remotely. We're not playing this game like locally downloaded on our actual desktops. That's not how, how it works. We're playing it remotely. What you're looking at on screen doesn't represent the experience that I had because the gameplay you're looking at, that is me actually playing, but that's what Ubisoft recorded locally on their ends through OBS and then sent it to us, okay? So I just want to make that clear. That's not what I saw. You see how clear that gameplay is you're looking at? That's me playing, but that's not what I experienced. That's what they recorded on their end, just to just to be uh, upfront and clear. As I was saying, while we are playing this game, we are in Discord with a Ubisoft staff person who is the demoist. And their job is just to set us up and ask and, and answer any questions we may have. Um, so other than any questions, they are completely quiet. So I just want to say the demo was, um, that I had um, in, in the Discord room that I was in was completely fantastic. He did his job. He answered any questions that I may have. Um, I just want to like I just want to make it clear, like I'm not being a dick because, um, you know, I don't have any personal gripes with Ubisoft or, or their staff or anything like that. I just despise their gameplay formulas and their loop at this point. Right. So. As I said, we had about you know um, five hours to play, right? That's what they uh, were, were, that's what they set up for us. I played two hours and told the demoist I don't want to play anymore. 
and I didn't say it in a in exactly in that way. I said it in a in a much much nicer way. You know, pretty much said like, oh, I had you know, I just had to go, got some uh, some other uh, obligations I got to get to. I you know, I can't play any longer. You know, because like I said, I'm not going to be a dick to the guy. He's you know, he's just doing his job. But honestly, I was pretty much done after playing for an hour and a half. I I felt like I learned everything I. I needed to learn. I knew everything I needed to know after playing about an hour and a half. And I didn't want to play anymore, right? I was tired and I was already jaded of of Far Cry 6. I was tired of the world. I was done, right? I was just going through the motions um, at, at that point. Mechanically, Far Cry 6 is a very sound game. There is nothing technically wrong with it. But there's nothing technically or mechanically wrong with any of the previous Far Cry games either. The problem is the game has become too formulaic. The story premise is usually always the same. There's some charismatic tyrant oppressing the people and you need to overthrow throw them and liberate the people of the land uh, as a freedom fighter. The game is you go on missions and you choose, uh, you know, you could choose to use stealth or go guns blazing and having that choice is nice. And you either got to steal or sabotage and, uh, and kill all the enemy all the enemy soldiers in the enemy bases and capture radio towers and I understand that like the way I'm just generalizing it you can do that with a lot of games right but I feel that it's even more so with Ubisoft games and specifically Far Cry right don't get me wrong there are some variations and additions from each Far Cry game um, and you and in Ubisoft games in general like uh, with the weapons, the ammo types, the gear, the methods of traversal and exploration, crafting and abilities. There are certain things they change and and add, you know, through each game, right? But it just feels like it all boils down to being the same game and the same experience that you played before with Far Cry 3, 4, and 5. Even though I was only able to play the game at 1080p remotely, Based on the trailers I've seen, and I've seen some of the Far Cry trailers in 4K, I don't see a game that has drastically visually evolved when there is an almost nine-year gap, a nine-year difference between Far Cry 6 and Far Cry 3. When it comes to Ubisoft games, right, every time I look at one or I'm about to try one out, I just have this absolute feeling of dread, like, I don't want to do this. Like, it's going to be an absolute chore. And that's not that's not the mindset you want to go into a game with. But I feel like that's what Ubisoft has games have conditioned me with. Right. I feel like I almost have Ubisoft PTSD at this point, And it's their fault. It's not my fault. Ubisoft has to do something about their games feeling so like ubiquitous and so like monotonous that they are all happening in the same universe and understand that i get that when it's a game that is being made by the same publisher the same developer that certain things are going to get shared i understand that but there should be some type of limit right to where when i step into one game right and I'm trying to immerse myself into one game by made by you, I shouldn't also feel like I just walked into the same game, like I installed the same game, if you understand what I'm saying. I should feel like I'm playing a different experience, and it's fine if you use some of the best aspects of those different of, of the different games you make, but now it just feels like one template. One of my podcast members actually described Ubisoft games extremely well. He said Ubisoft games do not feel like they are made by people who love what they're doing. Ubisoft games feel like they are made in a factory on an assembly line by people who just want to get the job done, get out, and go home. And that's probably pretty accurate because we know Ubisoft is a huge studio across many different actual buildings and their games get passed around in that manner. It's like every Ubisoft game starts out at one template or one mold, and then they may add a few things that make it marginally unique. For all my Star Wars fans out there, 
Ubisoft are pretty much the Kaminoans managing the clone factory. Except the clones have more personality than each Ubisoft game. I got to play Far Cry 6, but I feel everyone listening to this video knows just as much about it as I do. To summarize how I feel about Far Cry 6 and Ubisoft's, Ubisoft's recent games as a whole, and I can't believe I'm about to quote Reggie Fees and May on this, if it's not fun, why bother? 